Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Ford F-150 that generation year 2015, 16, 17. If you guys have one of those, you need to find where the fuse for the electric coolant pump. Okay, stay with us. Also known as the electric water pump, recirculating pump. We'll explain where that fuse is located, uh, where to buy cheap fuses, relays from, and why it's important to test fuses and relays that way you don't waste your time and money. We'll explain all that in this video today. Make sure you stay until the end. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us, guys. Every single car that we'll get here at the garage, we'll try to make every single fuse video and show you where it's located. Why we do that? Because if you're in the middle of the road, guys, in the middle of nowhere, and you need to find that fuse specifically, it will be, it will take you a shorter amount of time to just search for that video instead of looking for a manual in your glove box. And most of the times, people lose their manuals. And if you don't know which fuse, let's say, to replace for ignition coils, fuel injectors, fuel pump, you may be just stuck in the middle of nowhere. So that's why we are making all these videos, guys. We're constantly working here at the garage. We're taking things apart, as you can see. And uh, if you want to check out, guys, we have uh, three channels that all together have more than 1.1 million subscribers. Okay, we have all the mechanical work there. This channel that you're watching right now, we're going to list, okay, the fuse videos here so we can save you guys time, money, and we can make it conveniently uh, for you guys. So let's start on it now. For the electric coolant pump, we're going to demonstrate here on the 2016 Ford F-150. You have two fuse boxes, guys. We'll need to work on the fuse box that's under the hood. If you open the hood, this is the engine bay. And if we zoom in a little bit, you come. This is your 12 volt battery right behind it, guys. Right here, you're going to see a fuse box. That's the cover here. You open that, that cover for the fuse box and you'll see a fuse box that will, look just, that will look just like that. This is the layout here. This is towards the front of your F-150. This is towards the windshield side of your F-150. Before we continue, let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays that way you don't waste time and money. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so now another thing guys you can see you have different kinds of fuses relays that some people even haven't heard about those kinds of fuses and if you're in a small town in the middle of nowhere you can have a hard time finding a replacement one or they can be even ridiculously overpriced at parts stores we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get some spares uh, put some in the glove box for a peace of mind uh, uh, we get them at that place and they're really affordable really good price quick shipping we will need to work in that fuse panel right here and for the electric coolant pump, also known as recirculating pump, we will come in that right row of fuses, starting from the very bottom, we will count the third fuse, that 10M fuse, also known as fuse number 97, is the one that you will need to check specifically, hopefully the video will be helpful, thank you for watching and see you guys next time.